Hey, what is going on pros and pros? It's Mr. Lyman HD here and welcome to another drinks review. Today we're viewing Iron Brew's energy drink. I finally found it, you guys asked for it, you guys wanted it. I was gonna schedule it, but I thought I'd release it early for you guys. So, I got this particular can out of a corner shop actually, and I bought it for one pound, I believe. Um, so yeah, I'll give you guys it for 360 of the packaging. So we have that kind of weird 330ml can. It's kind of that kind of half weird size can flavor makes sense uh most of the iron brew can is fairly standard though we have the kind of the usual iron brew logo and design but i've lot of the can being black uh, which i guess that represents kind of the energy side to it because normally there isn't this much black on a iron brew can on the bag we just have the ingredients and stuff in white on the bottom we have nothing and on the top everything is all standard and silver apart from the pouring which is in black so having a look at the can it says original and best high caffeine taurine high caffeine b vitamins around the top of the can on the back we have let's have a look brewed in scotland to a secret recipe since 1901 yeah now before i go any further guys remember iron brew is iron brew it tastes like iron brew like coke does it tastes like coke i can't describe iron brew you guys know that who drink iron brew iron brew taste of iron brew <sighs> that's it so i'm going to be comparing this to normal iron brew and how similar it is whether i can tell the difference and whether it actually tastes any good. I do like iron brew, sugar-free iron brew. I do like iron brew, so bear that in mind, guys. But like I said, iron brew is iron brew, so I can't describe it. Sparkling mixed flavor energy drink with added taurine, caffeine, and vitamins. So let's see, it is full sugar. Sugar content is 11 grams per 100 ml, so it's one gram above the average of 10 grams. Contains niacin, uh, vitamin B6 and B12, but no panophenic acid. Uh, even though it is full sugar, does it contain any sweeteners? Let's have a look. Uh, let's see, I can't see any sweeteners. Uh, nope, can't see any sweeteners, so that's good. Caffeine content is 32 milligrams per 100 ml, which is bang on the average. And apart from that, there's actually nothing else on the can of... I saw that logo the other day. I don't know what that is. It's got that weird little circle thing now. I have no idea what that is. You probably can't see it on the camera, but I have no idea what that is. But anyways, guys, um, it's nice and cold. I have got a cup. Let's get straight into it. Hopefully it won't explode over me. So we all know the color is going to be orange and we all pretty much guess the smell and taste is going to be of iron brew. But Let's find out, but I said, bear in mind this is the full sugar one, and I only drink sugar-free iron brew when I do drink it, so... Don't you dare explode. That's a really tough pouring. Ow. Oh Look at the indent I left in my finger. Ouch. Right. Surprise, surprise, guys. We all kind of guessed that, I think. Oh, blimey, that's quite fizzy on the top. Wow, look at that, guys. Really, really firmly on top there. So there's quite a lot of bubbles in that, actually. Quite a lot of bubbles on the side. To be fair, the foam is going fairly quick. Also, say the bubbles, but um, there was definitely quite a lot there. Because, of course, it is fizzy. Uh, let's pour a bit more in. So the colour is indeed that lovely orange colour, which you get with Iron Brew. It is see-through. And yeah, it's just, it's a lovely colour, isn't it? It's almost like rusty, kind of rust colour, isn't it? But like a bright rust colour, way to explain. But basically orange, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's really, really nice colour. Uh, I couldn't smell it while pouring it out, so let's give it a smell now. <sighs> yeah, it smells just like iron brew, which again, smells of iron brew. It doesn't smell of anything specific. Yeah, just <laughs> it smells of iron brew. Albeit, it does smell more sweeter compared to the sugar-free one. Which it should do. Yeah. But nevertheless, guys. Let's taste some. Yeah. Literally test our full sugar iron brew. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, literally... It is, that literally tastes like full sugar iron brew. You, you can't even tell the difference if it, if it was uh, energy. I mean, at the end of the day, the only difference between the, between the energy iron brew is they've literally added 
32 milligrams of caffeine. Oh, and they've added, you know, taurines and some other bits and bobs, fair enough. But at the end of the day, they've only literally added caffeine to class it as an energy drink. So it's like you could technically add caffeine to any drink and technically make it an energy drink. You could add caffeine to, I don't know, some fizzy drink, for example, and you could call it an energy drink. Like some branded drink, Dr. Pepper, for example. Dr. Pepper is Dr. Pepper. You put a caffeine in it, you put caffeine in it, and it becomes energy Dr. Pepper. Great, but it still tastes the same. So, I mean, like I said, I generally prefer the sugar-free iron brew. This one definitely has got a syrup, more syrupy taste to it, like the full sugar did, it uh, does, sorry. But I say it's definitely more syrupy than on the sweeter side. Uh, I find it's just I find it's just a bit more more you know sickly rather than uh, rather than just more sweet. But um, no, like I said, guys, it's literally just full sugar iron brew. Again, if it wasn't labelled up as energy, you wouldn't know any different. You would not know any different. And again, you know, I said if it was a normal can, you wouldn't know any different. And if it in a blind taste test, Christ, you would definitely wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all. I mean, you, you just wouldn't in a blind taste test. Yeah, great. In terms of the flavour though, yeah, there's a good strong iron brew flavour there, which is always what iron brew is definitely quite strong. You get more of the iron brew flavour at the beginning, and then after that you get kind of the kind of the syrupy syrupiness kick in and then it kind of hits you and then kind of disappears. But um yeah, no, I mean it's it's great guys, it's fine, but you know, like I said, if it was labelled as something else, you wouldn't know it's energy iron brew. Cool. Uh, do I give it a thumbs up though? I mean, it's, I mean, it's nice. I like Iron Brew, but it's like I do prefer the sugar-free one. And I am specifically reviewing this against normal Iron Brew, and it's not any different. So, do I give it a thumbs up or in the middle for actually being something different? I don't know, guys. <sighs> you know, what? I'll give it in the middle because I will level it with the normal Iron Brew because it's you know, on par with the normal iron brew. So I'll level it at that. So again, it's not amazing, incredible. It's normal iron brew, which is not that good because of the full sugar, but if it's a sugar-free one, then great. But you know, you guys know what I mean. It's like normal iron brew, which is great. So anyways, as always guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all later.